Hey guys, we're back. Um, sorry about that. The game is stupid like that, I guess. Um, I also realized that I didn't examine her face properly. Her bloodshot eyes are open and staring into an infinity. Her lips have a bluish tint. There are no signs of violence on or around her face or head. Her fingernails are clean and unbroken, showing no signs of violence. Uh, hello? Oh! Oh, that's nice. A cobra thing is embedded in the Countess's swollen ankle. Not a good idea since it's leaking venom. Yeah, this is the important part you have to examine on her. You detect a trickle that of what would prove to be cobra venom. You deem it wise not to touch it when you remember that it's a neurotoxin that causes progressive paralysis leading to respiratory failure. That biology class was useful after all. Okay, now we can go. This is good. Oh. I was gonna say maybe now's a good time to save the game, but apparently you can't. Yeah, you can't, unfortunately. There we go. Yay, Act 5, the exciting act. Oh boy, I'm excited for you. Rex takes the bite out of crime. Interesting title. We'll figure out what that means later. You're doing a fine job, Laura. Thank you. Oh, I can't save? Oh! Oh, hello! Looks aren't everything. No, I want to talk to you. Hello? Okay, fine. Run! That guy doesn't look like very good news. Now we can save. Oh, that's true. You don't know where it's been. Okay. Incredibly enough, the game has no description or any... Oh! Oh crap! Cut off me! And he didn't even touch me, but I guess he... You came in thinking like a journalist, and you left with a skull full of mush. Okay, let's try that again. You have to, uh... When you're running away, you have to not only run into specific parts of the museum, but you have to, uh to block all the doors and prevent him from coming at you faster. So the first thing you have to do is close the door here and wrap wire around it. Wow, look at her go. Jeez. Now, you think you'd be able to, like, hide behind here, but it doesn't work. Don't ask me. Next, you finally have a chair over here. So what you're gonna want to do is... Oh, hang on, it's locked. So, but let's pretend that we went in here anyway. Okay, come on. Let's bar it. Oh, I see there's a distraction to make it look like you went in there. Yep. Let's hide in here. It's very tense. Haha, we tricked him. He's so dumb, he doesn't know we're in there. Laura, run! Wow, everything happens, everything happens so quickly all of a sudden. Yeah. Ooh, a crane. A large crate is suspended from the crane arm. Well, we don't want him to get into the door, so... Let's see if we can... Come on. I hate when it does this.
I believe you can read the documents in here, but I'm not sure. Maybe we should try. Oh, oh. oil, grease, or eggs, and crumpled newspapers litter the floor in the elevator. This really isn't the time to play with trash. Perhaps you can come back later to satisfy that urge. That's pretty good advice, I guess. Uh, now we're back to the chase thing. Yeah, I'm gonna look at all these. Let's see. It's a mummy from the Ptolemaic period, around 330 BC, whose name was Pooh. His wrapping uh. seemed to be in fair condition, but exposure to the air is starting to make them crumble. You pick up a friggin' mummy and place it in your purse. Are you serious? Yeah, look how big it is, too. <laughs> look at it! It's huge! Okay, that's, that's just getting ridiculous. It's the mummy case of, I think I saw a pudding cat fourth. Of the 18th dynasty, he was known for his strange affinity for cats. And that pump, please what? Jeez. A worshipper of Bastet, the cat goddess, he had so many cats at the time of his death that it took his servants three days to find his body amongst the hairballs. Oh. It's a mummified teddy bear. One of his black button eyes appears to watch you as you move around this room. Aww. Oh. You can also look at all the other mummies in this room, but you really want to get going. It won't open. But, let's see. A snake protrudes from the mummy case's headdress. You remember that the snake is a symbol of Egyptian royalty. Oops. This is actually a secret door. The snake shifts just a little and you hear it. And we have a graphical glitch. Awesome. But we're gonna have to go through this door a bit later because the cutscene is kind of long. Sorry, folks. Bye bye.